Oh, mama deka nyina duware. Bereta achu. Eh? Bereta. Ah. Hey, ta nikoro wako mama ere. Oh, okay. Odega ni. Inja class adi. Oh, here. Oh, ja class 6 toma. Preschool. Uni preschool. Eh. Toma. Class 1. Ini nyingi nga. Polika for the world. Polika for the world. Ini nga. Ini nga. Tell you again. Second, the chairman of the key. Hey, this will go, Liban. Manuka. Oh, so Mananuka, my mother. Even mother. They're drinking porridge. That's how you drink porridge. And then avocado. Oh, so Nukanika. Orumote. So this is where they kept their porridge. That way they were drinking. The flour that you are having. Okay, Koro. Aduo, Gadi Changwa, Duta Duogo. Yeah, so guys, this is the home. I was telling you, I was coming to say hello to my friends over here. So, Dima, most of you send out a hit young. I think I know most of you never can. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right outside, Moses family. How are you doing? Hope you are doing very okay. It's another morning moment. And I'm coming live from East Africa. I'm deeply in the home over here. Guys, it's a kind of evening here. It has been raining. And so I said, no. Let me just get out. You know, nowadays, it's rainy season. If you can see, the bananas are down. They are slept down. Because this rain today comes with a very, very strong weather. A wind that uh, makes a lot of uh, plants to go down on their knees again. Yes. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this channel. Welcome back again and again. This Moses over here, right and happy to meet you again. Um... It's an amazing moment and uh, I'd love to say uh, some few things with you because you are my great team and you are my the strongest team ever. This is the beauty of the village. When I scroll around you can see the beauty of the village. Yes, our home just somewhere down here. So guys, uh, that's this story I'd love to share. But before I do this video, first of all I'd love to... Um, uh, I need your action and then you give me idea on what to do on this video today because the story is quite tricky. The story is quite... Let me show you something. This shows that the rain is soon to stop. Do you see them? How do, how do, how do we call this? The anti what? They are moving. If you see them moving to the east, or the west that we it has an indication that the weather will soon change and this shows that it's we are going to experience a heavy sunny season you can, you can just see them yeah see them moving hey and they are flowing so fast just see this one on my hand this means they must be on me right now wow. do you know you can just be there they climb on you step by step and you'll never believe what's happening so that's how it is that's this woman in our village, I want to share this story deeply with you guys. Yes, and I would love uh, you give me a, you give me a way forward. You give tell me what to do because the trick is chosen. But I love to share things with you. Yes, I'm not in charity program, but I need to share what's happening in Africa. But if I can get a chance, then I'm a, I can be good. I can do well in charity because there are some people. The heart that I'm, I'm, I'm having, I really need to help more people. I'm just feeling and willing to help different people if I can. So the story of this woman, the woman is a widow. The husband died when I was very, very young. I remember I was very young. I don't know, in class six. Yeah, I was still young. So long, long time ago. No, not in class. Yeah, in class seven, six, seven, around there. Yeah, so... The husband died. I had to stop that video a bit because I was still <laughs> it was speaking to some people around the village over here. I see there, that's my brother and their friend also in the village. So we're just walking around. But uh, I decided to share this story with you because uh, before I plan to do a strong video, I'll only do it if you allow me to do. You know, you are my people and you are my family and each and every step you have been with me. And uh, there's this woman that I was telling you, uh, she's a widow. And uh, it has been long since the husband died. So 
on monday we were walking around here you know we have something called week of prayer so as we were going around the village we happened to visit her home guys there's something i noticed there that people are really really going through a lot of things and people truly truly need help that's the reality so i don't know i can go into that home but I don't want anyone to notice that I'm doing this story because, you know, when someone immediately notices that you're doing their story, they have high expectation from you. They need that help to be immediate help for them. They need it to be so fast and they expect maybe big things. Maybe, you know. Yeah, so this woman, when I went there, I found that he has got five children. Five children. And she has got uh, one daughter who is at the age of like 15 years yes so teenager but what they are going through is so pathetic guys i want to show you the house so that yes the home and the house it's just one simple house and that's where they spend a moment that's where they stay these people sometimes they don't have even food the other time a group from our church decided to donate and bring something small to them and they really appreciate so guys my story for today is so uh very different with the vlogs but i just wanted to check it is i want to show you that house how it is and you see where they are living then we just continue with the story i was almost said tears so i want to go there to show you what's happening guys this is the home i'm heading to this home life so tricky in the village man this is the home I was telling you. So this is their home. And these are the kids. This one, two, and three. Then there are two more. And the girl over here. Yes, I just come here to say hello. Nango. I'm Zelda. I'm Zelda. I'm Zelda. Oh, mama, they can't do it. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, Tani Koro, mama, I'm here. Oh, okay. What's going on? In your class, Adi? Oh, here. Oh, your class six, Toma? Preschool. Only preschool. Toma? Class one. In your class, Adi? Poly Kapo Di Wor. Poly Kapo they are drinking porridge. That's how you drink porridge. And then avocado. Oh, so nyukanika. Orumote. So this is where they kept their porridge. That's what they were drinking today. Okay, mama do you want to go Mama, I'm going to go to the house. Yes. Yes. This is the only flower that you are having. Okay. Koro. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So guys, this is the home. I was telling you. I was coming to say hello to my friends over here. But the mother isn't around. So I hope to come back again. To say hello to them at least. Yes. So that's their home. Let me just have this photo for you. Then we start talking about it. Aduh, orang semua nak biru. Ya kom, ina ngo. Eh, tak kuat dek kama. Kuat dek yang kuat itu kalau lagi ni kalau naikin. Eh, omos. Monde gini rita kawal lah oke. Guys, you see the environment looks so cool and very very nice over here, and I just love the environment of this place. So guys, yes guys, I'm very sorry. I had to stop that video video. I don't want the neighbors to notice what's going on. Guys, that woman, I already found three of them, the children, but two who are boys are not around. In that house, they are five of them, 
that's where they sleep that house is when it rains the water will get inside the house that's house you can see you have seen the wall the way it is guys this story really touched me really really touched me i was trying to do this video in a manner that i don't want them to understand whatever i'm doing i don't want them totally to understand whatever i'm doing i wanted them just to know i'm saying hi to them but uh, luckily i found the mother wasn't around and the two elders boys were not around so you can say it's okay that way so i promised them to go back but before i do anything that's the story of today and i want you to take a moment and tell me something let me know how to go about it i know it's very true that it might not be on a charity but this might be the right beginning because when i felt it i say let me pass by and say hello to them because when i was in that house the other time what i saw there really really worried me i was so it really surprised me and I said no. And Modessa told me this is the home that you came the other day to donate maize and some few uh, little items to them. So I said no God have mercy on these people. Truly that woman is going through a lot of things. Right now I'm being told that she went to do some I don't know which kind of work the labor work. Yeah, She went to do some work so that she can come back with the food to feed their children. You have seen the flour that's there. One kg of flour, they have to feed on it five people plus the mother. That's a total of six people. The porridge that they are drinking since morning up to now, it's that porridge. And it's purely maize flour, made of maize flour. It's like just someone is eating ugali. For example, let me give you this. The best, way, uh, the best example is uh, you prepare gideri. Then you, you have the maize plant to prepare porridge. So it's like you are here eating like a uh, carbohydrate with a carbohydrate. You see? Carbohydrate. Yeah, so it's carbohydrate with a carbohydrate. But I'm pretty sure that since morning, that's what they have been surviving on. You prepare the porridge, then you depend on that porridge during the old day. So. It has been that way anyway. We can't complain, but we thank God for the new life. But the only thing, guys, please, 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 you have been my great team. Take a moment and let me know the way forward on this. What should we do? How do we support this uh, kind of family? And if possible, are we able to donate something little for that family so that we grow them up, so that we do something, we buy food and do anything else for them? uh i'm also planning if i have money then i just come there very soon i buy them something at least this year because it's tricky man it's tricky remember all of them they are going to school all of them they need support from the single mother she's still young as you know kenya the way it is these are the real stories that we must share with you because if you don't share them right now then where when will we share these stories with you we must tell you the reality because maybe we uh, will be doing videos when we are in urban areas but coming back in the rural these are the true images of what's happening these are the true images of what we are finding in the village life in the village is quite different but for this woman it really touched me it really really touched me when i see the way these children were struggling to drink that kind of of a thick porridge that it's already it's over so you know so you must use a spoon to drink it very very streaky and very very stressful guys i need help for this family i need Danielson for this family if anyone can support in any way please let's type for this family i'm seeing the mother she's coming here i just want to show you the mother and she's having a baby yeah 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 guys let me show you the mother she's coming here you guys that's how it is and uh, it's quite different it's quite tricky it's very very challenging so i'm wondering what yeah, 
e mabudho ok na cham bedo piny ko nyaka wuga koro nidhi maka manyango manichiemo ere amana ne ye ka oh ere do ne ko ta ra anga wuna ngo mana ne ye ni jodo oh kedo mena no kanye mwalu abiro di tedi yudo ka di ambo ah yudo ka di rajo nani enda ngo Yes, guys, I'm very sorry. I had to change the language because she doesn't understand English. And again, they have told you I didn't want her to notice what I'm doing directly. But I want if at least you can do something like donation, then we surprise this woman. I know, I know my audience. I know I am Marwa team the way you are. You can do greater things for someone. I know, I know, I know. And you, I know how you have the big heart of giving. So... She's telling me, I di I wasn't aware that she's having a young baby, man. Wow, she has a young kid. So she's telling me that she went to find food for their family. I've seen she has bought omena. We have what's called omena or daga, the small fish, a very little one like this. And also, um, she has bought this. Is my brother over here. So just walking around as I do this video. And again, she's telling me that she took the other baby to the hospital. Wow, people are really going through a lot of things. Um, I'm, if possible, I think I'll do the follow-up. I'll do a video again for this family. And uh, we'll do a follow-up. We have a, a very nice interview with them, a very humble moment with them. We do a video, then we sign it out. But uh, the reality right now is, guys, I'm requesting on behalf of that family, please, please, if we can donate something, support this family in a very very special way if we can type something you know i'm just saying the truth is we are being told you bring your tithes to church yes so uh, we are being told you bring your mm, you bring your tithes to church and whatever so that we help people outside but i'm asking myself why and how because the people that we should support are our neighbors we have orphans we have uh, widows we have those who cannot we have the disabled team why don't we help directly? I don't know if I'm going against the Bible or if I'm in the wrong direction. But through you, you are going to let me know what's, the, what's happening and where I'm heading to. Because I'm feeling it and I have this feeling. That woman is really, really going through a lot of things. The way the kids were trying to eat. You are watching this video and I hope you are going to understand. So anyway guys, that's how it is and that's the reality. That's the true story on what's going on on the ground. Please, please, please take a moment, help me understand, subscribe to this channel, like to this channel, give a big comment, and let's find the solution for this family. The title of this video, Hard Life in the Village, Hard Life After Death. I wish, I remember when, yes, so guys, uh, I'm over here again, and I want just to end this video right here, because what was happening we have already addressed and now the task remains for my audience and i what next what do we do should we change someone's life let's judge let's decide give me on comments so that i know much love from moses family east africa over here guys i'm feeling so good because god has granted me another new life today and my family they are also super cool and we thank god for everything right here you can see we are in the nearest center over here but Esther told me, you go and buy something because tomorrow going to be our, <laughs> our Sabbath day. So during Saturdays, we don't cook daily or most of the time. The only thing we do, uh, we must find something that's going to take you throughout the day. So that's why I decided to come over here. It's almost uh, it's 6.30 uh, p.m. Uh, East Africa time. That's how it is. So guys, let's think about this. Let's think on what to do on this story because... Let's not, let's control it anyway. Let's just control the story. For you, my great supporters, you know yourself, bigger, 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 and thank you very, very much for the great support, my audience. Thank you very, very much for the great, great, great support. We are yet to receive, and the best is yet to come. We thank God for each and every moment because we grow day by day. I can't regret, you know, I only say thank you, Lord, because it's God, man. It's God, man. God has made it to be possible for me. God has made it to be possible for my family. And God has made it to be possible for everyone in my life. So I thank God. 
and I'm so grateful and I thank God for you, having you, the great team, having you, the strongest family ever. It isn't a joke and I don't take it for granted, but I take it for with a lot of care and I must know a very nice way to handle you as my people. Because I'm thinking, without you, where would I be right now? That's my question always. But being that you have been there ever, I'm so grateful and I thank God for this. May God bless you more and more for our mom, for our dads, for the great support. Should I tag someone over here? Please let me know because I have to generalize you because you are so special to me and you are so grateful to me. You are so important to me and you are so, so, so super, super nice people for this family. May God bless you abundantly. May God add you more life. May God keep on granting you day by day. I am Marwa. Thank you for this great support. You know, it's to say that someone who fed you, you need not to come back and start abusing them. Rather than just say thanks always, just say greet and they say thumbs up and that's all. So I'm feeling good and I thank God for each and every step in the world. I thank God for each and every step that you have been making over here. Without Ayamaru, maybe we couldn't be at the this right place today. But without you also the same, we couldn't be over here. But being that you have been here, we thank God for everyone and I'm feeling super cool. I can't wait to reach to wait for that day when we'll be hitting 5,000 subscribers. That's yet to come, and the best is yet to come. Road to 5k subscribers. That's coming very, very soon, and soon, and very soon, we are going to achieve this, guys. Keep on supporting this family. Do not get tired, because if you are there with us, you feel more strong. Team Moses stronger. By the way, you know we are planning to have a very big. Uh, how do you say? a very big celebration that's gonna come very soon once we hit 5,000 and again uh, don't want to forget someone just commented the other day that I can't wait to come when I come back I'll build you big and better house you know these dreams are ever true and so I believe in them and I trust and I hope it's gonna work yes thank you very much for watching this video Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Great support, East Africa, Kenya. Much love from Moses and the Moses family. Enjoy your day and feel most tagged in wherever part you are watching from. Remember to subscribe, like, don't forget to comment. My name is Moses from Moses to M, East Africa, Kenya. Love from the village. Enjoy the video.